In this short video, I will be showing how to add an employee's direct deposit account information. From the company dashboard, access the employee list by clicking the blue box in the upper right hand corner. This screen shows a list of all active employees. Click on the name of the employee whose direct deposit information needs to be added. After clicking the employee name, you are taken to the employee snapshot. Navigate to the Payroll Setup tab at the top. When you hover over Payroll Setup, a drop-down appears. Select Direct Deposit. To add a new account, click the button in the top left of the section that says Add Direct Deposit. Ensure the name on the account matches the employee's name. For priority, if there is only one account, we recommend inputting 99 meaning that this account is the last thing the system will consider when determining where to send the funds. If there is more than one direct deposit account, the account where the funds should be deposited first should have a priority of one. In the Start Date field, we'll enter today's date. Since I want this account to remain active for the foreseeable future, I'll leave the end date as our forever end date, which is 1231-2100. In the transit field, enter the account's bank routing number. This number should be nine digits. In the account number field, enter the account number provided by the employee. In the account dropdown, select whether the account is a checking account or a savings account. Select the Exclude Special Checks box if your company elects to distribute special payment types, such as bonuses, as live checks. The pre-note date setting is configured at your company level. If you're not certain about how your company is set up, reach out to your customer service team. For this company, I have it set up to pre-note newly added direct deposits, which means that the first paycheck is an actual check and a test is sent to the bank to confirm the accuracy of the account information. If I wanted to test this bank account, I would leave the date field blank. In this case, I do not want to test the account, but I want to make sure that the direct deposit is transmitted immediately. So I'm going to input a date far in the past, December 1st, 2017. This tells the system that this account has already been through the pre-note period. In the amount type dropdown, you can select percentage, flat amount or net minus flat amount. This means that the net amount of the check will be deposited into this account with the exception of what I input into the amount field. The most likely scenario is that an employee would elect to contribute 100% of their check to their direct deposit account. So for this employee, I will select percentage from the amount type dropdown and in the amount field, I will input 100. Once all the fields are filled in, I will review the information for accuracy and click Save and Close. The employee's paycheck will now be direct deposited into this account. This can also be confirmed by reviewing the pre-process register or viewing an employee's check detail in your payroll batch. Thank you for watching this demonstration. You now know how to add an employee's direct deposit account into payroll.